What's up guys, Nick Bringle here, and today we're talking about the Moza Air 3-axis gimbal. So over the years, I've had a bunch of experience with all kinds of different stabilizers from steady cams to gimbals to DIY stabilizers and all kinds of other, you know, shoulder rigs and things like that. Um, and they all definitely have their place in filmmaking and, and they're all tools and they can all help you accomplish whatever it is that you're filming. One isn't better than the other. It's all up to the filmmaker. So almost a year ago, I purchased the Moza Air 3-axis gimbal, and uh, I wanna talk a little bit about that tool. I wanna talk specifically about filmmaking, how I use it, pros and cons, and uh, that's pretty much it. I'm not gonna get so much into, you know, like an unboxing type uh, video. I'm gonna really just focus on how I use it, why I like it, and uh, yeah, my opinion, really. That, that's pretty much it. So if you're gonna think about purchasing this gimbal or uh, one of the other uh, gimbals that are out there, I think this applies to all of those. So when it comes to gimbals or steady cams or shoulder rigs, I think they're all, or at least one of them, is a must-have tool when it comes uh, to making videos, being a filmmaker, um, especially if you're a one-man band or uh, you're working on any kind of projects at all that need to be professionally done or you know you need to be a run and gun type situation you're probably going to want some sort of stabilization um, a gimbal for me I, I transitioned probably about not that long ago a year or two ago uh, when i started shooting with the sony alpha series and was introduced to awesome autofocus and a full frame body that's really small and these three axis gimbals can handle the weight of pretty much any setup that you have whether it's a big lens little lens, it doesn't matter you it, it adjusts very well and you can set them up very quickly and they balance really easily. The batteries last for like 12 hours and you can just go. And um, that's a huge, huge point, selling point for me um, because a lot of work that I'm doing, I like to be able to just throw it together quickly and go and not have to worry about if it's balanced correctly or am I gonna get tired of holding it? It's very light, which is nice as well. So one of the things that I definitely recommend when you're getting any gimbal, um, specifically like the Moza, uh, the Xeon Cranes, um, I think even the new Ronin, any of these, is out of the box, set it up, go for a test drive. Go use this thing, whether it's for a week, two weeks, a day, it doesn't matter. Go test drive it, get used to it, get used to the feeling of it, the way it moves, the way it turns, um, you know, the axis of these gimbals, they're all a little bit different how the motors uh, react to your movement. But what's awesome is you're able to, to fine tune those things. So um, it took me a while, I kind of put it off. Um, I kind of just used it right out of the box. But I recently went in and used the software um, that comes with the Moza Air. And you can manually fine tune all of the adjustments. So you know, if you're wanting uh, to yaw or pitch slower or faster, if you're trying to roll a certain speed, all of these things can be adjusted and uh, set for your specific needs. And it just makes it a really awesome, versatile tool overall. So I really, I really recommend going in and customizing to your specific needs. So overall, uh, I know you probably want to know a lot about as far as how smooth it is and, and how balanced it can be. And I have never had an issue. I've watched a bunch of different videos and seen reviews of the different brands and the different gimbals. Honestly, after using a few different ones, I honestly can't tell you that they're different. I think it's all with the user, the filmmaker, whoever's using the gimbal, um, they, you have to practice. You have to use it constantly. Um, you have to be able um, to just learn 
uh, with these gimbals. It's not something out of the box that I think you can easily be an expert on um, because there's so much about the way you're moving, the way you're you know pitching it, the way you're turning, how fast. Um, and depending on what kind of camera you're using as well, can it keep up? Can the autofocus keep up? Um, is it ba is it too heavy? Is it too light? Um, and so I haven't seen any issues ever with my Moza Air. I absolutely love it. There's a couple other things I haven't mentioned either. So um, not to not to get into what comes with it or anything like that. All the little extra accessories. Um, but I do have the ability to not just have one hand on, but I do have the dual handle grip. And I think that is huge if you're shooting uh, more serious scenes or uh, if you're really, you know, using it for a long period of time, I think it really will help you um, stay even smoother and you'll get even better shots. And you also have the ability to uh, add you know, a monitor onto it. There's threads on, on the sides of the handle that you can add your monitor, you can add a microphone, things like that. Um, for me, I don't do any of that. I try to be as stripped down as possible. Camera, lens, gimbal, go. That's it. That, I just want to be able to throw it on and, and go. That, that's pretty much it. And when it comes to my style of shooting, I've definitely developed a a need or a want to to use the gimbal as much as possible. And that goes for even situations like this. Obviously I'm filming myself, so we are on a tripod. But um, as you'll see in my visual narrative series and, and some other videos where I think the norm would be to uh, get your camera stationary, static shot on a tripod. It's very controlled. You don't have to worry about uh, all these different variables. I say, no. I like to put it on the gimbal. I like to have that feel that gives the audience that uh, they're kind of really there watching this person, whether it's them, you know, sharing sharing their story or, um, you know, moving through a room, anything like that. I, I try to avoid static shots as much as possible. Um, again, unless that project calls for it and it looks better that way, but I definitely like the movement. And you know, I've mentioned multiple times before, the reason behind a lot of this is just the directors and DPs that I've looked up to or am inspired by, like Terrence Malick or Emmanuel Lubeski, um, they just have a very unique style when it comes to movement, uh, camera movement with steady cams and gimbals and things like that. So um, I just like to continue that. I, I love the feel and the look of it. Um, and I hope you do too. So um, yeah. So that's it. That was it. We're just talking about the Moza Air. I think this can apply to any of the gimbals that you're out there um, looking at to maybe purchase or upgrade to. I know even the Moza Air, there's a new one that's out. Um, honestly, you can save a couple hundred bucks and get the old one because it's not that big of a difference. I mean, you're using this tool to get a steady, stabilized, smooth motion uh, shots and they're all gonna do this for you. They really will. From the Ronin to whatever the cheapest one is, if you know what you're doing and you really learn how to use that tool, it's gonna work amazing for you. Just, just like with lighting, you don't have to spend thousands of dollars. You can get cheap, inexpensive lighting like this and uh, make it work because, yeah, they just want you to spend all that money, but you don't really need to. So um, yeah, let me know down in the comments if you have any videos that you've recently been uploading or uh, if you have any questions on the Moza Air, any kind of gimbal uh, questions at all, shoot them at me. Um, definitely been using this one for a while and I've used other ones for, for many years. So um, yeah, thanks for watching. Uh, hit the like button. If you're not subscribed yet, consider it. Watch a few other videos and then you know, you go, hey, these are pretty cool. So, you know, I'm going to subscribe. And uh, yeah, go create something right now. Go, go, go now.